Hey guys, and welcome to episode 16 of My Little Pony, Ventures Massive. The times they always changing. Interesting. I saw a similar, I saw this title earlier, and same thing was same meaning. I think it means a kid, a young version of a same thing. Either that or it was a typo. Anyways, episode 16. Yeah, my brother and his wife in there. But we are almost to the season finale. Don't know. Anyways. I have been waiting for this episode since I saw the title and since I saw the picture was on TV. I'm recording, remember? Anyways, without further ado, let's start. Let's see what happens. It's just for my theory about the season finale. Princess Kate, and don't think it's too soon for me to come back to the Crystal Empire for a visit. No. But I just know Flory Heart's grown so much already. I wonder if I'll even recognize her. She's the only baby they have, Twilight. I think it'll be pretty easy to figure out who she is. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's not that she's gonna turn into a, you know, a full on the fairy in a couple of months. I just don't want to fall behind on my friendship lessons back home. Oh, the, oh, wait, first of all, where were you last episode of Missing? I had an idea that you were seeing Sunborns, but clearly, that was not the case. Spike? Who's Spike? <laughs> uh, you're Spike, right? Yeah, I'm Spike. Oh, that's right. Well, I'm Spike. Right! Spike, why do you need a disguise? The last time I came to the Crystal Empire, there was a lot going on with the new baby and the crystalline, but I still got mobbed in the street. I wouldn't say mobbed. <laughs> it was your fault, too. I wouldn't want presents of Spike the Brave and Glorious to turn it into some kind of circus. We get it. The Crystal Ponies adore you. He did save the Empire. Twice. But still, Technically, the set of time was we'll saying Pony Y from a mess up at the Danes. Was an entire empire. Oh, Return of Rarity Doll. <laughs> we had the Return of the Rarity Plessy. So, Bye doesn't like, you know, being famous. Well, too bad he's saying that's for I like to use a spell to say his appearance. I mean, she can make all her friends to, into pleasies, but she can't make bite uh, like a pony for the flowers. Huh. It's like a ghost town. I've got a bad feeling about this. Huh. Yeah, this is weird. Oh, we don't I have the city for now already? <laughs> oh my god! Never mind. <laughs> You sure that's right? Either one of them could be the you know? <gasps> What if this one isn't the real spike? Something strange is definitely going on. So I see why Kate uh, I see why Kit was went for an all out Kato in season two. Of friendship? Of course we recognize her, but that doesn't mean it's really her. It's okay, guys. 
there with me. And any friend of Spike the Brave and Glorious is a friend of the Crystal Empire, am I right? Hmm. Yeah. It does look like him. Well, it would, wouldn't it? I'm sorry, but we'll need to see some proof of identification. We'll take care of things from here. There's some boys. Cadence, thank goodness. What's going on? We can explain, Twily. If it really is you. Sunshine, sunshine, ladybugs awake. Clap your hooves and do a little shake. Yeah, do that out in public. Every pony, it's her. Sure, do that out in public where your enemy can see it, you're on it, and use it to fool you. Morons! Ow. When Chrysalis took my place at our wedding and invaded Canterlot with her army of minions, we're not taking any chances. Changeling speed off of love, and ever since Flurry Hearts Crystalline, the Empire is filled with more love than anywhere in Equestria. It's possible they've come for the baby. That's why we you know, the beast, you know, that's a question. I'm just glad they didn't attempt to take you over when the Empire of Bloody returned. I mean, Tatis can for eight years. That part became a target as soon as she kept quitting it, for as far as I care. Wondering if Spike the Brave and Glorious would like to join in the search for the changeling. Really? Uh, I don't know if that's such a good idea, Spike. It sounds dangerous. <laughs> yes. Why, like this is Spike the Brave and Glorious you're talking to. Have you ever known me to run from danger? Question. Um, what happens if a changeling is taking the phrase of the baby? Well, another changeling takes the wheel for a heart in Depth's town. So out of all those dogs, only one is the, of them is there. Oh, uh, well, they are changelings, so they can change. You hear that? These monsters can look like any of us, so be on guard, guards. Even more than normal. And they could be anywhere. So we should cover as much ground as possible. You, search that way. And you, search that way. He said you, not you guys. Just... Dude, he pointed at two dice and the entire unit ran off? Unless that rock is a changeling. Okay. Okay, be funny if it is. I was I read the torments. That way I could tell if it's, you know but way I could tell if there's an arch there. See so what passes. Oh god, boy, he had wings! Blake. Maybe it's time Spike the Brave and Glorious went back to, uh, protect those guards. Just my reflection. Huh? Oh! A changing can turn in the spike! Huh! Just my imagination. Okay, how did he dance after we what? So they really tanked on into him. No, wait. Come back. No. He has a voice! He has a unique voice! The same thing has a unique voice! Pretty slippery. I wouldn't want you to get hurt because of me. Huh. Saved me? It's okay. I know you don't want to be friends. Wait! I don't understand. So this is a little two outs. Either the same thing is honest, Evil or he's a master manipulator. All I've ever wanted is a friend. From the moment I first split my egg in the nursery hive. Huh. So he was the only one that, um... Friendship like that, and I couldn't just steal it and feed on its love. I wanted to share it. After 
After that, I knew I couldn't live with my kind anymore. I set off looking for love to share, but... But what? You were the one at the wedding! And there's so much love in the Crystal Empire right now. It's what drew me here. It's driving me crazy! That would be from the Royal Crystal. It's pretty much a giant outpouring of light and love for a new baby. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm just so hungry. If I had a friend, maybe the love we shared could sustain me, but I don't think the Crystal Ponies want to be friends. This is gonna be hard. This is we have to be friends with a vampire that should nap at any moment. But I just gonna have an actual full friend that's actually a guy. Oh my god. He's a fem he's a male. Male says he's in. Oh god no. Yes. Yes. Okay. Falls down. Oh my god. He's going to see the baby. Freak out. Did you defeat the evil creature? Defeating a changeling would be great. But do you know what would be glorious? Defeating two changelings? Defeating Play all one. the changelings? Not having to fight the changeling at all. Because I made friends with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. For a second, I thought you were serious. <laughs> Could you yeah, that's that's friends with a changeling? I am serious. He wants to be friends. <laughs> <laughs> so, is Christmas the only female saint thing? You're also spiked hilarious. The bees, aren't they? I'm not joking. The changeling is nice. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't think it's funny. The Changeling Queen Chrysalis kidnapped Cadence and cast a spell on me. There's no such thing as a nice Changeling. You're right, Shining Armor. Sorry. That was a bad joke. So, so, uh, what did they say? How many new friends do I have? Well, it didn't go exactly the way I thought. No, oh, I understand. Well, thanks for trying. I... So, what was she doing when they were that How can you different? To look like this? To trust something that looks like this. That's gonna be your ten in form. That's gonna be his ten in ponies, guys. on a protection spell for Flurry Heart, and no pony takes notes like you. Uh, actually, so what's with that Tina? I, uh, wanted to introduce you to my friend. Uh, a crystal, uh, huh. Crystal Hoof! Crystal my Hoof? Crystal Hoof. Nice to meet you. Oh, well, it's nice to meet you, too. How do you know Spike? Oh, uh, Spike and I go way back. To the Equestria Games! That's when we met. Pals <laughs> ever since. Pen pals. Seriously. Mike, you could have been using my pen pal quill set. What did you tell me? Well, I, I pretty much only write to him when you and Starlight are studying. I like to brag to all my friends about my letters from Spike the Brave and Glorious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna end up badly. Well, I'm sure Starlight. <laughs> okay, I want to see how this goes. Take me around the city. Oh, that was amazing! I told ya. When is this gonna go bad? Oh, song. <laughs> so, they're hacking him. They were really? Be okay with him if he ends up saving, you know, one of the ponies. You know, actually see it. 
Crystal Hook is nearly as entertaining as Spike himself. Oh, this place is everything I've ever dreamed of. But I can't keep pretending to be a crystal pony forever, can I? Relax, you win in the mover. Pretty soon, no pony will care that you're a changeling. Spike! Oops. Twilight told me you were off with a friend. <laughs> and any friend of Spike the Brave and Glorious is a friend of mine. You're not gonna be suspicious? No, it's a little bad. She's so beautiful. It's a little bad. So much love around her. I, I. <laughs> yep. I, I'm so oh, sorry. I can't, can't stop. Spike, get away from the changeling. <laughs> Wait, no, you don't understand. This changeling replaced your friend to get close to the baby. What other explanation could there be? I... I don't know. After it! Don't let the changeling escape! <laughs> I hope your friend is okay. <sighs> Me too. You could have said told them the flu. I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to see me. Spread out! The changeling is probably still nearby! Actually, I'm pretty sure he ran as far away from here as possible. But I bet I know where! Thorax! Hello? Wait, what? I just what? What did you just tell him? You. Well, what did you just tell him? That's his real name? Oh, he can't turn into a wall. Okay, what can't they turn into? Um, little help? Why do you think I would help you? I'm an evil changeling. Because You're not evil. I just wish I had been one to you. It's okay. I know it's hard. Everyone in the Crystal Empire loves you. I couldn't ask you to give that up for me. You don't have to ask. What are you gonna do? What I should have done in the first place. Whoa, that was fast. Time defense. So, what can't they turn into? I know it's bad that there's a changeling around, but is all this really necessary? What's the baby? But I don't know what else we can do. I do. Spike, what are you doing? Get away from that thing. No, he's not a thing. His name is Thorax, and he's my friend. <gasps> Another song! Well, did we... The other one was intended to be a song, it was just music. Would you say I'm a hero, glorious and brave? Let's change it to be a big part of the finale. Something almost looks like a female in the air. That sometimes I'm scared, and I can make mistakes, and I'm not so heroic. So, so those fight on. You don't get these often. Here's an idea. Just say this line. You can't start that good. I mean, if you think about it, the Saiyans are technically only evil right now because their leader is evil. I mean, if their leader was good, what would happen then? Do not have to be a way to tell him apart when the other same thing is so what? I'm looking forward to remixes of this.
It's in the name after all. Well, that's understanding. She's a friend. She's a princess of friendship. I mean, he befriended a dragon. You know, princess dragon. You just befriended this toy. This toy. I'm pretty sure one changing is gonna be okay. Because it's gonna be racist. I'm pretty sure that's what most of them are gonna do. Well, not most, but a tempo. They don't be too scared. But hopefully, these guys will, um, you know, do something other than that. Okay. I'm so proud of you. You are? Of course. You're a celebrity here in the Crystal Empire, and you just <laughs> risked all of it for a friend. I can't imagine anything more brave than that. As the princess of friendship, I try to set an example for all of Equestria. But today, it was Spike who taught me that a new friend can come from anywhere. No, it wasn't before Spike. Everybody still has things to learn about friendship. Even of course, you're still young. If Spike says Thorax is his friend, then he's my friend too. Thank you. On behalf of the Crystal Empire, I would like to extend my hook in friendship. And I'm sure all of my subjects are eager to do the same. <laughs> okay, that was this. Welcome to the Crystal Empire, Thorax. I'm sorry we didn't take the time to get to know you. Maybe we can change that now. That'd be so amazing! Is that easy? I know all about friendship, and maybe one day I can take that knowledge back to the Changeling Kingdom. If my kind learn how to create love for one another, maybe they wouldn't have to take it from others. To spike the brave and glorious! So, they went from all about being feeling it's the same thing, to, yeah, there's four boys for them! Get the knife! <laughs> Okay. I have an issue with this. Okay, I want to see if there's anything um after the credits. I just I just want to see if there's anything after the credits. I'm waiting patiently. The lipids are still on, but I don't care. Still recording. And. Nope, nothing. Okay, so this was a good episode. I'm not done with the issue. That ended far too easily, far too fast. I mean, did they really, really, really needed to have Bite not defend his friend? To just go after him, say, I'm sorry, and then walk all the way back? That could have been cut out entirely. I mean, Jesus Christ! Whoever wrote this, that is a taste of bad writing. If you don't do that, add more time in between it. Have that, you know, not stand up for his friend, and show sometimes what he feel guilty about it. You know, that a couple minutes, then show Spike go after his friend to find and apologize. You don't do that in one minute time span. You give the film it. You don't watch it. I mean, there was just no point to it. And that added to the ending, which added to the problem because it just ended wrong. Well, it didn't end wrong, it just ended in the wrong way. You saw the reactions. It does resign all in cadence. Those two, it Especially, especially, should have not been that open. Master didn't why, give me a second. So I need all my intendants. 
sister was kidnapped Cadence. Why she didn't kill her, I don't know. Then she tried to marry Sayanama, who she blamed was. Wish they did that, the kid would never have been born, but... Those two almost had their lives ruined beyond repair by a same thing. And the same thing almost took over Tantalot. I'm pretty sure there was a few deaths there. So, after all of that, just because Fight, you know, was frustrated by Twilight, I guess you could say they flushed Twilight enough to be friend the same thing. But I don't buy the way it was done. I mean, after Twilight talked, everybody did a one and go, Oh, I'm sure the Central Empire, why are, the, why are my ponies holding pit force and torches? Oh god, they aren't accepting of a same thing. You might want to win. <laughs> Seriously. So it's because two, two characters say, well, I first this the same thing, and he's not evil. Ugh, I'm getting myself confused here. Okay. But I did do a big thing. That was Masuo's fight to raise all of his fame for one friend that he just met. And I hope later on, they're not gonna change this to whatever his name goes evil. For all we know, he could replace Tisteris and become the king of the Sainzings, leading them down a good path. I'm gonna feel sorry for Tisteris when she's, um, lost all her power. She's worried a little bit more than it. <laughs> Anyways, the big thing, and before I say it one last time, best I can, they were just too accepting. They accepted it too fast. Again, Byte not staying up for his friend, then immediately going after him, and then immediately going back to do what he should have did. That... It's bad fan fiction. I don't care who you are, bad writers do that. Even the best of the bad writers can end up making a mistake that a terrible writer would do. They take me profit all the time. Sooner or later, they're gonna mess up. This, this should have been a good, this should have been a a big episode. A scene scene is good. He's in the Central Empire. He is actually good. And he's actually making friends. And all it took was just a 180-foot second of a moment. Ugh. If I would have wrote this, I would have at the very least had Sign Alma and Cadence talk a few more lines. I mean, especially when Cadence levitated her child to the same scene. I was expecting him to freak out again there. Seriously. Oh, you, um, the black flavor lawyer says you're safe, and even my daughter in law says you're safe. Okay, here you go. Here's my baby. Please do not harm it. Ugh. At the very least, they should have had Cadence and Sinoma still be a little bit defensive towards Foyard, being that they're careful when they let the things he gets close to her. They don't hold her out on a silver platter and say, Here you go, eat her. That, those two should be the biggest roadblocks here. I mean, you saw how Sonny Armour reacted when he heard the dogs laughing and was thinking Fight was tearing the suit. He 
he could murder with that face. No soap. This episode was doing so well. But that just ruined it. Technically, I probably have to watch it again, but that really did not help at all. You do not watch scenes like this. Is this writer a good writer, or is he a bad fanfic writer? You do not watch moments like this. You give either time to develop it, or if you have to, um, cut it short because of time difference, you at the very least leave little bits off for another episode down the road. Tated should not have to it fully hard. Yeah, and put her so close to the same scene. I mean, at the very least, she should have been on guard, like testing him to see if he would see how he would react. <sighs> that, you know, I actually do hope this thing turns out to be a freighter. And you want to know why? To teach these characters a lesson. What they just did at the very end, especially with Tate showing fully hard like that, that same thing in that one moment to the bit fully thoughts net clean in half. They have zero reason to be reacting that way. I mean, yeah. That is that the greatest hero to them. He is going to be a legend, you know, down the road. He's going to be that their immortal god. Or they're probably not, probably Hercules or something, but... They... Just... I badly want to see the Empire's reaction. <laughs> I bet you anything more than a few bulked up and started a riot or something. I mean, yeah, friendship is good, and Twilight, it makes perfect sense for her to first fight, but everybody else, F to the no! Ugh, that was just too much of a 180. Ow. This episode was good, but that ending could have ruined it for a lot of people. I mean, I do like it. I do like the idea that the same scene can turn into an eminent an object. They can turn into items. I mean, what else can they turn into? Can they turn into a building? Can they turn into a dop sign? <laughs> Can they turn into some part, into some point's pair of shields? <laughs> no, seriously, can they turn into a pair of shields? <laughs> Fair not, do it. <laughs> but yeah. I'm interested to see a lot of people's reaction to this. But yeah. I don't want to go on out of bloated and wetted. But I don't I want to, because that is just died. <sighs> As a guy who has spent probably over three or four months writing a book, a story, I have spent more effort than I have in my entire life in this one story. I spent so many days and hours getting better, learning how to write, learning how to write character interactions, learning how to write scenes. <sighs> this ending is a hundred percent bad fan fiction. I don't care what you say, or how you defend this episode, 
the other 99% of this episode is good. But that 1%, this ending, which again, it says 1% out of the entire episode, is bad writing. Who wrote this episode? Sorry, who wrote this episode? I'm gonna find out that. Okay. I have to make sure that it's actually. Oh, here we go. Just the info. Followed by Fight on the Fault. The writer of this episode is. I think the story editor was Sars Haber? So he's proofreading this stuff! Okay, now I have one person at fault here. So who wrote the episode, actually? I'm gonna go to the very start. See about the episode title. I'm not seeing it. I'm looking it up. I must know who wrote this episode. What do I miss it? Season 6. Episode 16. Misspelled episode. I'm flying the words here and it's not being good. I'm going to put it as F. Short. Okay, it's not doing anything. I don't see a Wikipedia. Oh, that's the last episode. Okay. Let's see who wrote this. Okay, if I don't find out who wrote, who wrote this now, I'll put his name right here. Oh my god. God on heaven's earth. Another 30 minutes. I'll be with you. I'll just put the guy's name right here. You and Sars failed epically. You are, you are good at your Sars. I'll give you that. But you messed up on the most important thing. The ponies accepting the same scene. That was the purpose of the episode. The most important thing in the episode. The entire purpose of the episode. And you go and ruin it in one bloody second. I have never reacted this way to an episode. Or at least I hadn't in a long time. And I hope I am not the only one. This episode is good. I like the episode. The moral was good. And that's a good bike episode so far in this season. I like Bike as a character. And it made sense. It does make sense. That he would be the one to befriend a same thing. Considering he was probably the only character we did actually see in days with the same scene in season two. In fact, he kind of disappeared off of the face of the show when they appeared. So did Celestia until she showed up to get owned. Celestia failed. <laughs> but yeah, good episode. I'm not gonna fail with anything. But that writing! Oh, that ending, I mean. You just don't do that. When it's that important, the one moment, the one crucial moment that puts, that pulls the entire episode together, the one solid thing that the entirety of the episode was building up to, the purpose of the episode, that one moment, you do not wish it. And I blame that moment where Bite had to go off, find the same thing, did it, didn't, and didn't go all the way back to do what he should have done before. That 
had no reason to be there. He should have dipped up, sung that song, then and there, when he first revealed itself. Even if they still want that to happen, you just do not rush these moments. The Crystal Empire stated in signing armor accepting this angel to the point they would show it, show him the baby, the one Dane, the one pony they would die protecting. And all of a sudden, face force into a changing. You realize if the changing was bad, he could have grabbed very hard and flew out of the window. I'm done. I can't wait on this anymore. This is gonna be over 50 hours if I do that. Oh, this way the time is gonna be a real pain. <sighs> I like this episode. I will watch it again, but that ending it says not redeemable, at least right now. I would believe Shining Armor and Cadence accepting this same thing because of Twilight. I mean, Twilight versus Fight. And I think so. Twilight would wish being hung for crimes she did not commit just to protect Fight. She would die before letting him down. So, Tate and Shining Armor would likewise be the same. They would force Twilight more than Celestia herself. But every pony else, suing, throwing out, have a parade, accepting this one same thing, they have no reason. I mean, yeah, they, they have to do what the will would say, but they wouldn't immediately, immediately cheer about it. They just wouldn't, and my eyes are getting irritated. <sighs> this ending is by far one of the dumbest moments in the show. I just don't... I said I was done, and I'm stopping. Just keep in mind, for the love of God, that I am not saying this episode is bad. I'm saying the ending was bad. It was worse. The moment Byte said, I don't know, and so's not the bad of his friend, that moment, the episode went from die high to what? Bottom, faster than 10 seconds, Rainbow Dash. New Academy Wicked, I don't care. New Wicked, BAM! <sighs> what the? It's not entirely bad, but that ending was such. <sighs> I hope I do not get bad comments and people touching me out. But these are my thoughts of my first feeling. Whenever I watch it again, if I feel different, I'll put it in the description. But if my thoughts are still basically the same, I won't. Because there's just no more I can say. This is bad writing at its finest. The rest of the episode is good. It is just the ending that is bad. And I hope to died in some parallel universe it is better. I just don't know why the writer 
decided to immediately have every pony in sheer the way they did. Especially Cadence. I do want that same thing to be evil and be freedom. So so I can say, you see morons, this is why you should not be so accepting that fast. That's why you should be a bit more careful. Ugh. Children. The fact that the same scene, if it did have to pronounce his name, did not freak out, surprises me. I actually hope we get more of him later. And I hope Hysteris does not get overthrown. Because I further doubt if she gets overthrown. <laughs> oh well. She didn't. I'm pretty sure not everything seems in the big way, eh? <sighs> Anyways. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry this is blowing my own as yet watch of an episode. I'm sorry. And I'll see you in the next episode. <sighs> For the love of God Almighty, why? <coughs> <sighs> I am overreacting. <laughs> 20 minutes overreacting and I do not even tell. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. And I pray with every ounce of my soul that this show does not do this type of what's ending again. These guys are talented writers. They should know to take their time. I mean, yeah, when writing a stuff for an, a show, you have a deadline. You have to meet a deadline. You can't do anything about that. But even so, you still take time out of your schedule, your own schedule, to make sure it's good. You have to make sure every bit of it is good. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be good enough. <sighs> I'm stopping.